Howard Stern fan, and I'm expecting, you know, the usual Howard with a little bit more, um... Good morning, YouTube. It's very, very early. I'm up, but I'm trying to edit last night's vlog. I, I upload it before I go to bed. And then when I wake up, I just start putting it together. Well, it didn't upload, it failed. Somewhere in the evening while I was asleep, so. Damn it. And I upload it from my phone. So that means I'm going to have to do without my phone this morning. Excuse me. But my morning juice. The morning uh, snots in my nose. So I'm going to... Look, there's the Willem Dafoe painting. I'm going to do all my social media stuff from my phone that I have to do from my phone. And then upload it again and it'll take a while so you know what I discovered I took my phone case off last night just to like wipe clean my phone up a little bit it was dusty and on the back of my phone my iPhone it says iPhone S when I thought I had the iPhone 6 plus is that right does it still say 6 plus still say S on the back I don't know Anyway, if you know, let me know in the comments. Um, or I can just Google it. Okay, I'm gonna do wake up stuff. I'm gonna try finish putting together the sign for the rusty rudder. Wanna watch? I'm out here in the front working on my sign for the rusty rudder in Austin. I'm working on it in front because it's heavy. Look how big it is now. A regular piece of four by eight is from here to the down there. So it goes up another 14 inches and out another foot or so. So it's big and heavy and I had to piece it together. Can you see that? There's two pieces of plywood there. I'll show you this side of it. See how it's pieced together? It's just making do with what I can do. So, that's that. Yeah. 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 All right, the next step I'm gonna do is just bring it down flat so I can put a real thick textured base coat on it. The reason I wanna put a thick base coat is because here is the seam and I don't want those seams to be too prominent. So I'm gonna lay it down and put a real thick base coat down and then once that dries, I'll uh, paint it the color that it's gonna be the background of the sign. There. So, um, you wanna watch?
there's the first base texture coat. See how you can see those lines? I don't like that. My objective is to try to get those lines to disappear as much as possible. And that's going to happen with texture and the way I paint the background. It's going to be like a rusty white background. Like white with like rust spots. So hopefully, and then the writing, of course, that I'm going to be putting over it with a couple different logos and what have you. But this is the basic idea for the moment. And after this dries, I'll come out and put another base coat on it and then let that dry and then see where we're going to go from there. Okay, well, putting the thick coat of paint kind of did us a little bit of what I wanted it to do, but not enough to do what it needed to do. <clears throat> so, where the seams are, I got my sander out and just started sanding it down. The high spots and the low spots, see if I can kind of even them out a little bit more. And then I'm gonna do it again. Now that the paint has filled in those seams, for the most part, it should, another coat over that area will probably hide it enough. You know what I mean? I don't know. This is the first time I've done this type of a sign. Well, piecing it together myself, that is. So, it looks like Frankenstein right now, not a sign, not a business sign, but a Frankenstein. So, just continue to go at it and see what comes of it. I may just have to get a piece of material, a piece of canvas. If I can find one that's these dimensions, that's enough. It's, the dimensions are just enough of it already. Okay, that's where I'm at. All right, well, I sanded the sign all the way around. The shadows are really not helping with uh, what I'm trying to show you here, but I sanded it all the way around, tried to smooth it out as much as possible through the primer and the original caulking. Now I've caulked it again, smoothed it out. Hopefully, after I paint it again, primer it one more time, that when it dries, I can sand it down again and it'll be rock and roll. <sighs> Things like this would normally kind of tick people off, you know what I mean? Like, it's such a pain in the butt. Well, I don't see it like that. It is a pain in the butt, yes, but not in a pain in the butt type of way. What? In a, um, I gotta figure this out, because I may end up doing this again someday. So, I do it now, figure it out now, then in the future when this happens again, boom, I'll be good to go, like Flojo. I thought they were honking at me, but they were just honking because there was somebody standing in the middle of the road. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to go uh, eat a little something, bologna sandwich, and then uh, come back out and do more work. Well, that's it for tonight, everybody. I did as far, I got as far as I could. I um, put together yesterday's oops vlog and uploaded it while I was doing this and uh, that's up now um, that beast back there should be dry in the morning and then base coat the thick texture and then let's see how it looks I mean if it doesn't look right then I'll just have to do another session of what I did today. Another sanding and prepping and then just keep going until it's ready. You know, I can't do anything but keep going forward. I can't stop. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for sticking around. Uh, watch the vlog I posted 66 and uh, you'll see. It's real short. It's like three minutes and um, 
keep our team.